What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and on this channel we talk about fragrances and fashion. So looking good and smelling great is of equal importance here on this channel. So if you love looking good and smelling great and hearing about great fragrances and getting some style tips and stuff like that, then you found the right channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and take another second if you don't mind to go ahead and click that bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload new content on the channel so guys on today's video i'm going to be doing a tag i was tagged by my guy what up what up what up it's your boy cj city <laughs> yeah my guy cj city tagged me on a recent video that he did and i think the title was uh fragrances so good that you'll use them all meaning that you're going to run through a full bottle now i have a lot of fragrances in my collection that i love so what i did with this particular list is i really looked at for the most part with a lot of these selections fragrances that I've used a full bottle of or that I am almost done with the bottle, which I think is a smart way to do that. And then with a few of these, it's just <clears throat> fragrances that I really, really love um, that made this list as well. Now there are two that could have made this list, but I know that my wife contributed significantly to knocking the bottle down, which was Molecule 01 and Lyric Man for my wife. Uh, those fragrances have about, they have less than a fourth left in the bottle, but she contributed to probably more than half of that. So I didn't include those, but I do have 10 here that are really great fragrances to me and that I've either used a full bottle of and I'm on my second bottle, or they're more than halfway done. Or the third category that I did was um, fragrances that I really just love and I try to use it sparingly. Uh, but anyway, this is a fun tag. I thought it was a good idea, so I'm going to knock out the tag. CJ, thank you for tagging me. I'll link his information in the video. So guys, we're about to get into it. If you want to hear what 10 fragrances I chose, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Guys, I don't know why, but fragrances just seem to be so much better with coffee. But anyway, let's get to the list. Now, these, of course, are in no particular order, but <clears throat> the first fragrance that I want to mention is a fragrance that I know is so good, I will use the whole bottle on this right here from Tom Ford. Had to make it. You guys know how much I love this one. This is Tom Ford. Noir Extreme. <clears throat> I love this fragrance. It's nice. Ah, beautiful florals in this with some coffee. It gives it that gourmand touch that I love. I have about, let's see, I have this much of this fragrance left. And the only reason I, I honestly don't use this as much as I used to is because the nozzle or the sprayer uh, is kind of messed up on this. So I don't like the way <laughs> that it sprays out. But um, I'm going to be getting another bottle soon. And I'll probably put the rest of this into a de uh, itemized decanter. Um, but yeah, man, this is definitely one that I, of course, as you can tell, am using the whole bottle of. And to have this much of a dent, again, when you have a collection as large as mine and you've used this much of a fragrance, you know that you love it. So the first fragrance that I'm mentioning today from the house of Tom Ford, this is Noir Extreme. All right, the next fragrance on this list um, comes from the house of Bond number nine, and this is called New York Oud. Bond number nine, New York Ooh. Now, you guys know how much I love Portrait of a Lady, which is another rose-based fragrance that I love, but Portrait of a Lady is not quite as wearable as New York Ooh. So I know it'll probably take me a longer time to run through that one. I've reserved that one really for more special occasions. Although it's probably, it is one of my top three fragrances of all time, it didn't make the list. So not all of my absolute favorites are on this list, but this is a little bit more wearable uh, rose fragrance that I do love. Uh, this is our second bottle. We ran through a 1.7 ounce. That's done. And now this bottle is already down to here. So a fragrance that I use a lot, I ran through a bottle of it. So I know that it deserves to be on this kind of list. So this one again is from the house of Bond number nine. I love it. If you love Rose, I think this is a must try. This is called New York Oud. The next fragrance on this list today comes from the house of Rosia Dove. And this one is called Elysium. Guys, I really, really thoroughly enjoy Elysium, man. Again, um, <clears throat> it, 
it has a slight resemblance to a vintage, but this is a different fragrance. And this is one, it's really a fragrance that could be worn year round. I get a lot of usage out of this fragrance. Now I had another bottle of this <clears throat> and I was about halfway done. I sold a partial bottle when I got this new one in and I'm already, I've already knocked this one down to here. So it's a fragrance that I use a lot and it's an easy to wear uh, niche fragrance. It just smells fantastic, man. So this one had to make the list from the house of Roger Dove. Again, this one is called Elysium. The next two fragrances on this list, yes, this is a two for one. They, they, uh, they come in at a tie on the list. And this fragrance is uh, Blue de Chanel and also Dior Sauvage. Now I have all three iterations of both these fragrances. I have the Parfum, the Eau de Parfum, as well as the EDT in all three of these fragrances. And this is already down to here. This is the Parfum. I just grabbed one. This is the Parfum of Dior Sauvage and this is all the way down to here. Now in my EDT version of this, I have only about maybe a fourth of a bottle left and about half of the Eau de Parfum. And the same thing with this. Um, the, I'm sorry, the EDT of this I just got recently, but I've already used you know, a nice amount. And my Eau de Parfum is about a fourth of the way. I have about a fourth of a bottle left. So I use these two fragrances a lot. These are kind of see uh, my go-to easy wear, don't know what I want to wear, just throw it on and go, know you're going to smell great. So these are definitely two fragrances that will fit this in this category. Fragrances that I know they're so good I'm going to use full bottles of because I've always run through these two. So Dior Sauvage, Dior Sauvage and Blue de Chanel. All right guys, the next spot on this list goes to a fragrance from the house of Tom Ford, another Tom Ford fragrance and this one is called Food Wood. Oudwood, you guys that have been following me for a while, you guys know how much I love this fragrance, man. Oudwood is so, so, so good. And I had a 1.7 ounce bottle of this that I ran completely through, I used it up. So yeah, this is a fragrance that I love so much that I would use the whole bottle because I've already ran through a 1.7 ounce. So this time around, I was smart and I got the bigger bottle of this. This is a 100 ml bottle. So Oudwood, Definitely a fragrance good enough for me to use all of the bottle because I've done it before and I'll probably do it again. All right, the next fragrance on this list comes from the House of Parfums de Marley and this one is called Layton. This one is called Layton. Now it's funny, um, I don't talk about Layton as much as some of the other fragrances that I really love, but I really love this fragrance. And I can't see how much of this bottle is left, but I'm pretty sure because I, because I know how much I wear this, that it's probably about half the bottle. And again, guys, for me, any fragrance that has a, a, a half bottle or less left in the bottle is a fragrance that I use a lot considering how many fragrances I do have. So this is one that definitely had to make this kind of list because I just love this fragrance from the House of Parfums de Marley. Not to mention the fact that it matches perfectly with my jacket today from the House of Parfums de Marley. This is called Layton. Guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of by Killian, and this one is called Black Phantom. Black Phantom. Now, this is the one on this list that fits that third category that I talked about. Now, this doesn't have that much juice missing. It's down to here, but I just really reserve this one. I try not to use it so much. This thing is so expensive for a 50 mil, man, and I paid full retail for it. I did an unboxing video when I got this fragrance um, about two years ago, maybe. And um, again, I paid full retail for it with the coffret. It was $2.95. So I just try to use it kind of sparingly. But I know that I'm going to run through this thing and hopefully they'll have the refills available so I can just fill it back up because Killian bottles are refillable. That's one good thing. But man, one of the best things I ever put my nose on in my life in fragrances. And this had to make the list from the house of by Killian. Again, this is one of my favorites. This is called Black Phantom. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list needs no introduction on my channel from the House of Creed. This is Original Santal. Original Santal. Now, this one is down to here, of course, as you can see. This is my second bottle, four ounce bottle of this stuff. The first one is completely gone. This is my second bottle, and I've already knocked it out to here. For me, this is just, again, something that I can wear in any situation any reason any season any occasion from casual to dressed up i can wear this fragrance and it's going to work this one that i love of course you know 
know, I talk about it all the time, so you gotta know how much I really love and adore this fragrance, but it's evident as well by how much I wear it. The four ounce bottles, of course, of Creed have been discontinued, so I'm gonna try to move a little bit slower on this, but when I do go through this four ounce bottle, I'm going to get another one. Love this one, one of my favorites, of course, of all time from the House of Creed. This is Original Santo. Next fragrance on the list comes from the House of Maison, Francis Kirk John, Baccarat Rouge 540. Baccarat Rouge 540. This is another one that is so expensive that I kind of slowed it, slowed it down a little bit on using this one because I only have this much left. Um, I would say that's maybe half a bottle, but guys, you know how expensive this fragrance is. So good. It's so good. I'm gonna run through this bottle, I know, and I'm gonna have to get another one, but I'm just trying to give myself a little bit of time to prepare for that. But this is one that definitely had to make this list. It's one of my favorite fragrances of all time as well. From the house of MFK, Baccarat Rouge 540. All right, guys, and last but not least on this list, another fragrance that needs no introduction is this one right here, Creed Aventus. Creed of Ventus. Now, I don't really get all into these batches and all this kind of stuff, but I did hear that this batch that I have, this is a 17N01, is one of the, the newest Grail batches. I know it smells fantastic. This is a, this is one of those batches I think is a great balance. It's smoky, but not super smoky and not overly fruity as well as the pineapple. Man, this stuff is so good. Now, if you look at this, you cannot see the juice really just by looking at the bottle, but when I turn it, you see that it's about halfway gone. Now, I have this, I'm trying to preserve it because of course, you know, they don't make the four ounce bottles anymore and people are trying to charge an arm and a leg now for any, really any Creed that's in a four ounce bottle, but especially a vintage. So I'm trying to slow the reins on that. I do have, I did have this flacone as well. I think this is a 8.4 ounce flacone, if I'm not mistaken right here so i had the flat cone as well now i did decant some of this out but you can see there's not much left i have done quite a few decants with this but i'm, gonna, I'm not going to decant any more of this i'm going to hold on to this because um again i, I creed event is not a, an inexpensive fragrance and i know they're cloned but i love the original as well um i don't do a lot of decanting but there are a few guys that here locally and of course a few subscribers that have hit me up and I've sold them a few uh, decans. I don't really talk about it a lot because I don't really have the time to just to dedicate and fulfill a lot of people uh, wanting orders of decans. But anyway, I did decant quite a bit of this out but I'm not decanting any more of this. I'm gonna hold on to this so between these two, hopefully this lasts me a little longer. But that definitely had to make the list of fragrances that I so good that I used the whole bottle from the House of Creed, of course it's Creed event. That's my time, I hope you enjoyed this video, CJ City, thank you so much for the tag. Now, of course, because this is a tag video, I am supposed to tag some folks. Um, I am going to do an open tag because I can't, I mean, there's several people that, that, that I know rock with my channel, and uh, you know, but I don't really like tagging the same folks over and over, which is probably what I would end up doing. Uh, I only really tag people that that, are, that really rock with me. I try to do the whole spread the love thing, but you know, oftentimes when you tag folks, I guess that don't really rock with your channel or don't rock with you, they don't do the tag. So that takes the fun out of it, and it then it stops the tag from progressing. So if you watch my channel often, all right, if you watch my channel often, and I'll know because you'll do the tag. If you watch my channel often then I am tagging you. I'm tagging you to do this uh, video because it's really fun, man. 10 fragrances that, um, that is so good you'll use the whole bottle. So it's an open tag from my end. So again, CJ City, thank you for the tag. But guys, that's it, that's my time. Thank you so much for indulging and taking the time to watch this video. Of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me and I sincerely appreciate that. Now don't forget, of course, like, comment, subscribe, share these videos out, man. Let's keep the channel growing because I'm your guy, the bow tie, fragrance guy. I love to look good and of course, I love to smell absolutely amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.